What is going down? I am Sammy Goldberg. Welcome to Respect the Chain. And right now we are at Katsuya in New York City and we are going to create Katsuya's signature dish. We are talking about the spicy tuna crispy rice. So right now we're actually making the most important part of the dish, the crispy rice, chef. Yes, so now we're going to place uh, the rice lightly on top of the pan. You got to keep it light and fluffy. You don't want the rice to break apart. Yes, you want to keep the texture of the rice by just keeping the outside crispy. Now this is sushi rice? What kind of rice is this? This is uh, sushi rice. So it's uh, basically flavored rice, flavored with uh, vinegar. If I was going to make a sushi rice, I'd put ketchup in it. <laughs> ketchup sushi rice. That would work too. <laughs> yeah, we should try that. Okay, now we're going to drop in a little bit of uh, clarified butter. Now the butter gives it extra flavor. It gives it flavor, plus it helps to crisp up the outside of the rice. So it's almost as if like you're making hamburgers. You're flipping them, yes. putting the butter on there. Exactly. You want crispy rice, just think you're making a hamburger. It's the same idea. So you want the middle to be, you know, nice and soft texture like the rice, but the outside to be a little crispy, so. You see, it's crispy, so you need a crunch. Crispy crunch, crispy crunch. Would yes. you do a Captain Crunch sushi ever? Oh, um, you could try it. <laughs> Didn't that be right? They have Captain Crunch chicken fingers. Why not Captain Crunch sushi? Exactly. We have a uh, bluefin tuna. This is from Japan. Sushi grade, sashimi grade. It's one of the best tunas out there. This is like the wagyu. This is the equivalent of wagyu in the wagyu fish. Of the fish, yes. I mean, look at this color. This color is great. Kind of looks like candy. It looks like when you go to a candy <laughs> store. <laughs> And it's like, it's a very beautiful, yes. happy color. I don't want to put some thing. sugar on there and eat it like, you know, it's like a sour patch or something along those lines. Uh, that, could be, that could be a new dish. <laughs> that's, you know, we're adding on, we keep adding. That is so good. That is not fishy at all. No. You're literally just eating, this is raw tuna, correct? It's raw tuna, yes. That, that's pretty unbelievable. Now you're telling me we take this now and we actually are going to turn this into the spicy tuna? Yes, exactly. So we use uh, basically a grinder to put the tuna in. We grind it to make it into basically a pate. And we mix it with uh, scallions and our special sauce to make the base of the spicy tuna. So now we're going to canal this into a, an oval shape to place on top of the rice. Okay. And if you do it quickly, It'll turn and make it into the oil. Oh, wow. All right, so just uh, place that on top of the rice. We're going to take uh, some uh, serrano peppers. So we're just going to place that on top as a topping. So this makes it extra spicy. This, this completes the whole package. Basically. Wow. Chef Katsuya created the original idea to take rice and make it crispy. And now crispy rice is known all over the place. And that is why at Katsuya, one of the menu items you gotta try when you come here is the spicy tuna crispy rice. I feel the crunch, I have the crunch. And then you got that tuna. Now tuna, what's so great about the tuna is it's not fishy. And you got a little bit, a slight kick on top of that to give it that spicy vibe, but it's not overbearing. It doesn't overshadow the tuna. At the end of the day, this is a great dish to get. You've never had crispy rice with tuna on top of it. What are you doing? You better get over here. You better get to Katsuya. This is uh, Taishi Yamaguchi, executive chef of Katsuya NYC, and you're watching Respect the Chain.